when you see a division problem written the way it is shown here, 26 divided by 2.5, let's set up the problem in a manner that we can solve it. So after we write our division sign, take the first number shown, which is 26, and that should be written underneath the division sign. The second number, the number we're dividing by, is our divisor. That should be written on the outside. Our next step is to note that the divisor has a decimal in it. When doing division, you are not allowed to have a decimal in your divisor. To turn it into a whole number, we simply take the decimal and move it all the way to the right. To move it all the way to the right, we had to skip over one digit in order to get there. And the rule is, whatever you do to the outside, you do to the inside. So on the inside, we also must move the decimal one space to the right. But before we can do that, we have to add a decimal to the end of the number 26. After we do that, we add a zero so we have a number to jump over, and then we move it one space to the right. After we move our decimal as many spaces as it needs to go, we take that decimal and also write another one directly above it. That's where our decimal is going to stay. Now we're ready to divide. Now the first thing we do is see how many groups of 25 can be divided into 26. 25 can go into 26 only one time. That gives us one group of 25, so we're going to subtract 25 from 26, which is a difference of 1. We drop down our next digit in line, which is a 0. Now that gives us 10. Now 25 cannot go into 10 even once, but to hold our place value, we have to write a 0 in that spot. And 0 times 25 is 0, which still leaves us with 10. Now, because we still have a remainder and nothing else to bring down, we're going to have to add a 0 at the end of the number underneath the division sign. And when you drop the 0 straight down, we now have the number 100. 25 fits into 100 exactly 4 times. 4 times 25 is 100. Now we have no remainder. So our final answer becomes 10 and 4 tenths.